Hello. In this video I will uh, go into the ACL assertions themselves. If you haven't seen my previous video on ACL assertion preparations, the whole point of assertions is to be able to control the permissions not only on the controller action basis, uh, but also on the individual uh, resource objects on a page. The best examples would include uh, blogs or forums where you want to make sure that uh, on one page, uh, on a single control action that displays the forum thread, only the original authors of the post or comment are allowed to edit uh, that uh, post. Uh, in this example, uh, I want to make sure that only the original author of the book comment is able to edit it. At the moment, I have anybody editing any comment. I want to make sure that only the author is allowed to do so. The uh, assertions are pretty complicated in Zen framework, so uh, a diagram before the code uh, would be appropriate. The whole point of the assertion is to be able to check whether a certain user ID is equal to owner ID. So this is the goal here, in this section. Uh, so we're going to return a true. Now the whole point of assertion is pretty much the same as in a regular ACL. That is to check whether the user is allowed so is allowed method of ACL to access a certain object. So um, it would be pretty much identical to our traditional ACL, where we said uh, who is allowed a certain combination of resources and privileges. However, to be able to get to However, the difference between the is allowed method in assertion versus the is allowed method in the regular um, privilege and uh, resource combination is that we are manually checking if the user ID is equal checking if some user ID, uh, the offer in this case the currently logged in user ID, is equal to the owner ID of the uh, resource. So essentially checking whether the currently logged in user ID is equal to the owner ID or the user ID of this comment. So um, Essentially, just checking whether the current user ID is equals to that. If it is equals, then this should be editable. Uh, to be able to do that, the ACL assertion needs to have uh, four pieces. The ACL, which is the parent ACL uh, object, that is simple enough. And then it needs the instance of role, uh, Zend ACL role which is taken from an implementation class of uh, role interface. And I will explain why is it that we have to implement it. Uh, same goes to the resource. Uh, it must have an instance of um, ACL resource uh, based object. And then of course we have the privilege which uh, Uh, which comes from the parent ACL. Okay, so uh, it may be a little complicated uh, until you see how all of them are laid out in the code, um, but what you must have is an instance of uh, some kind of ACL role which implements then the ACL role interface, and you must have an instance of ACL resource interface class that implements it rather. 
Um, in case you're not familiar with the object-oriented concept of implementation, it is a class that must have the same methods and properties of the parent class that you're implementing. It can have others, but it must have the ones that it implements. Uh, if you are not sure which methods should be implemented, uh, what you can do is check uh, Zen Frameworks API documentation. Uh, so once you go over to the manual, uh, you can go to the API, and by the way this is true for any uh, time you want to see exactly how the class works or how you should make it work. Uh, get into the API and we're interested in Zen DCL and we want the interfaces and for this example I want to see what all I need to do to be able to implement the ACL resource interface. Okay, so according to the API manual, I have a method get resource ID. So I must have this method somewhere in my class that Im implements the whole interface. Uh, same goes to the resource interface. Uh, I'm going to check what the Okay, so I'm going to go into Zend CL and I'm going to go into Zend CL. No, no. I'm going to go into Zend CL. I'm going to go into interfaces and for this example I want to see what all is necessary for me to implement a CL role interface. And according to this, I must have a get role ID method somewhere in my class. Uh, let's see now what is necessary to get the ACL resource interface going. Okay, I must have get resource ID method uh, somewhere in my class as well. Okay, so uh, once I get the resource and the role, uh, class is uh, implemented, uh, I'm going to get the object and I'm going to pass uh, those objects into the uh, assertion, which in itself is an interface and it must have this method inside of it. Okay, uh, so the whole point is to be able to get the currently logged in user ID into the role. So it's checking whether this role is uh, able to do a certain privilege onto this resource. So uh, in most cases the resource uh, is going to come from the object that you are trying to uh, set a privilege on. In my case it is the uh, database user ID so the uh, so in this example it is so in this example the uh, resource ID it, so in this example uh, it gets the owner or who is supposed to be responsible for the current resource uh, from the uh, use the ID column of the comments table and of course the resource ID uh, which must come from the ACL so that the um, assertions know uh, to which ACL resource the um, permission is supposed to be applied to and then the role is usually taken from the current uh, session or authenticated session so that uh, we are checking whether this particular user is able to do uh, this privilege whatever we're setting it to be on to this resource and